go from rags to riches. Farm to fame. June 1st this year, we had our fifth annual Bib and Buckle Fest, and what a day it was. We'd been busy getting the farm ready for weeks, and this year it was bigger than ever. We had food vendors and craft booths, merchandise tables, Marcy Joe's desserts, and the Crosley Radio folks even drove down from Louisville to be a part of it with us. There were fun games to play, neat things to see, and lots of great music to hear. Austin Cunningham, the Patterson family, James Dean Hicks, Ruby Lovett, Alvarado Roadshow, and many other entertainers performed. The event was off to a great start. Now there were lots of clouds in the sky and the weatherman was calling for a chance of rain, so at the last minute some good friends of ours showed up and spent the morning building a tin roof over the stage just in case. They actually were still building it when people were coming in and finding their seats. And then, just like that, the sky let loose and the rain came, and came, and came. It drenched everything and knocked out the big sound system. And at first we thought we were going to have to shut the festival down and send everyone home. But we soon realized that most people wanted to stay, no matter what. They were going to have a good time, whether it rained or not. It's amazing how sometimes things that turn out to be what you thought was a disaster makes a special memory that you'll probably never, ever forget. And about an hour later, the rain stopped and the fun started again. Larry Cordell, Carl Jackson, and Jerry Sally put on a heck of a show in the tent, and after them, Mr. Bill Anderson played an amazing set. And then it was our turn. It's the Joey and Rory Show! <laughs> this time live from the tent! <laughs> In Technicolor, Joey! And then Rory! Now I have to admit, even though things didn't go like we thought they would, this was our favorite Bib and Buckle Fest ever. There's just something about how when things seem to go wrong, God actually just had a better plan in mind. The rest of the evening was pretty magical. We sang and told stories until way after dark. And when the concert was over and everyone had gone home, we just sat out on the field and said a prayer of thanks for the rain, for the friends, and for the special day we all got to be part of. 